What is going on guys? It is your secondary boy Gary G Gaming here and today I am taking out the absolutely marvellous, exquisitely fantastic, oh wait hang on this tank hasn't been good for a very fucking long time. It's pretty decent. Um, I mean no, let's rework that. It's good. Very good. But it hasn't been great for a very long time and that is all to do with a long time ago when they swapped this ink battle rating from 6.7 to the ungodly 7.0. Now, if those of you who don't know the premise of this vehicle, it was basically meant to be a Panther upgrade. Well, it's it's all convoluted because this is this is probably the only tank War Thunder's just straight up stolen from World of Tanks. Oh, cough, cough, IS-6 and all that other bullshit. But, essentially, in real life, the Panther 2 was designed to be a successor to the Panther, um, the Panther series, like the D, the A, the G, and um, not the F, we'll get onto that in a second. But essentially, this vehicle was designed to be a sort of um, better armoured version of, of the, the Panther series, and when I say better armoured, I'm talking specifically about side armour here. Now, this will sound a bit retarded to some of you, but truth be told, um, side armors on the Panther the could be defeated zone. by relatively small caliber guns. I'm talking like 14.5 to 20 millimeter cannons we're talking here, Russian anti-tank rifles. And, you know, the Germans didn't like that their newfangled medium tank could be killed from the side by basically pop guns in the world of, in, you know, compared to tanks. So what they did is they decided, instead of creating an entirely new chassis, let's just put a bunch of side skirt armour on the side. I'm talking about the flat part, by the way, the, um, the regular 40 millimeters of angled side armour. That could punch well above its weight because, you know, it's angled side armour. So, many in the German war armaments department agreed, you know, adding little side skirt plates is a far better alternative than completely redesigning the hull of a new tank and so that's sort of where the panther 2 died um what we have in game however is completely different this is the world of tanks panther 2 which is essentially a small term turret fitted with an 88 millimeter gun and I, I like it in this configuration. Many people hate that this is ahistoric. No, I actually like this, like this, because this is the first Panther tank that can actually perform like a medium tank. This thing gets out and it can fucking boogie with the bad boys when it wants to. So it's just a beast when it comes to fucking firepower. A much greater improvement over the um, Long 75. The, the Long 75 is good. It can be a bit temperamental when it comes to spaced and sloped armor. This thing, on the other hand, holy shit, you can punch through... Well, essentially, back when this was 6.7, you had the same gun as the King Tiger, and um, comparatively, you were probably a much better tank, hence why this thing is now a higher battle rating compared to other vehicles. Shell shirts it. the fuck? Ah oh, yes, the, the typical. The typical. So, yeah. No, we're probably done at this point. <sighs> How typical is thou to have this bullshit happen every fucking day? Pretty much. I mean, it's my fault for not securing the flank, but, you know, it's just like... You bother doing things correctly? So, we're back on fucking Fulda, which is just... Holy shit, I've never been more bored in my life, like fuck. I do like big-ish maps, but then... Ah, oh, fuck off. This is just... This is almost retarded. That is. is that like a T-54? Come on, verse. We're ahead of the enemy. Attention to Let's 
get a crew of a bunch of people going here. Well, let's do this. See, I don't know, the Panther 2 was, was good, I mean, still pretty fucking good, but I mean, it's just, I, I'm having difficulty learning the meta, like, the modern playstyle of this game, because it fucking changes every month, it's like, I don't know what, it, what the go is with, like, there's no set solidified playstyle, like, with World of Tanks, the game hasn't changed in, like, fucking six years. Barely, at all. This game has to fucking flip in or do something retarded and new every fucking week, basically. And it's just, it's giving me the shits. I'm sick of this fucking retarded, unnecessary change. Just think, and half the time it's shit that doesn't even need to be changed. Meanwhile, you've still got fucking, you've still got fucking retardedly strong tanks like IS-6s, which, like, despite the BR changes, that, that thing is not balanced by any stretch. Nowhere near. Like, to call that thing balanced is is a fucking insult to the word balance. Like, the fuck was that? Let's go. Let's have a meme. Attention to the designated grid zone. Yes, the cancer. Come on, turret. There we go. Alright, I6, you're fucked. I'm just curious, where can I so where can I penetrate you? There? Oh, that does work. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised the fucking optics didn't just block my shot like it usually does. And I've no idea why they changed the BMP ones missile. Like seriously, a Conker's ATGM. That's fucking stupid. Like BMP one should be 8.0 now at least, because it's just giving giving the patterns heat. That's sort of okay, but give it, giving them a Conker's ATGM. Like, that just it makes no fucking sense. What what reigns supreme? Soviet tanks, particularly these things. Soviet fucking heavy tanks with with like. Just no counters or weaknesses. Like, what's this? Hang on. Keep it up and victory will be ours. non pander of course. Yeah, let's see if I can kill the fucking IS-6 from the turret side. Yeah, alright. Well, we managed to do that for once. And I get killed by a BMP-1. Hmm. And I can imagine... That missile looks awfully familiar. Awfully familiar. That's fucking stupid. Conquers ATGM. It's not often I get to take out the unicolor camouflage on the Panther 2, but when I do, I'm very happy. Good news, the cancer is on our team this time. Ah, this time. So, I know that my armor is not going to work, but it never usually does anyway. Still, this tank looks fucking nice, unicolor, so, you know. Unlike that disgusting stock camo you get on this thing, which is just like brown and white it just doesn't make any fucking sense i have no idea why that's the stock camo but yeah well turns out the is sixes have just completely blown through any form of defenses and like steven seagal in a steven seagal movie it's just there's no challenge it's just fucking gone straight through destroyed everything and yeah memes Although there might be some some uh, some competition up here, let's see. Whoa, 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 there's a fucking guy there. Is he alive or is he dead? Yeah, let's try this out. Yep, he's alive. Target on damage. Awesome! I fucking love shooting into the back of a turret with the uh with a gun that can do 240 millimeters of fucking pen and doing absolutely nothing to it. That's my favorite part of War Thunder. Please fucking die. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who shot me? Who the fuck shot me? 
Alright, come on. Goodbye. Ugh. Something happened over there. Oh, the Sokai. Lovely. Attention to the designated grid zone. Hmm. I like this tank looks like with unicolor on. It's a shame it's like not useful anywhere. And you know, if the camera's not using it, I might as well just wear winter. My winter coat. <laughs> Bet the Germans wish they had a couple of those. Fucking hell. Uh, but damn, this update's done one thing. It's just like the sound of the fucking planes is just so much better. It actually sounds like a plane's flying overhead instead of just some retarded cancerous bullshit. Goodbye. Please, do not even try. I can't wait to get my hands on a T29 one day. Come on, Johnny. There we go, there's another one. Any more? Good job on that SDKFZ, though. Really, thanks. This is my job, bro. We're here to kill everything. I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure how this match would have gone without the IS-6s, but I mean... You know, oblivious tanks are oblivious. <laughs> We're all guilty there. Wow. Are we going above? Like, seriously, I just... Hull break just fucks me up sometimes. Well, this is the match I wanted. This is the multi-kill fucking... Extravaganza that I always look forward to when I play this tank, you know. So yeah, you know this is actually like perfect for a thumbnail. So yeah, we can play King of the Mountain, or we can just hey, just curious. Are these just gonna like shoot off? Like, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Sorry for clickbaiting Miles in, but you know I saw him. I didn't have my mic attached at the time, and I thought, fuck it, let's just record, see what happens. Turns out to be a terrible game, so. I decided that I needed to go out and just, like, finish this thing off, like... I had this thing spaded, but then Crew of the Punishment came in, and they added smoke, and then it was just like, fucking hell, what more? But no, I'm nearly done. Nearly done. All I gotta do is that, and then this thing is fucking Gucci. So, yeah. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video, dislike if you fucking hated it, comment down below any thoughts, any at all that you are in your head right now. Maybe you're like, oh, I'll probably have a pull after this video, but... Oh. Yeah, so, you know, um, I'll catch you guys next time, so, yeah.